My decision to come to Oregon State um, over other universities uh, was influenced by the coaching staff. It's definitely a, a pair of coaches that we feel, or that I felt, uh, would help me, not just with my uh, on-field play, but also off the field as well. And, and uh, I feel that so far it's been beneficial to myself uh, because of the decision that I made four years ago. So I feel like I've made the right decision and uh, anything, I'm becoming a better person, not just as an athlete, but a student athlete. Playing in Coach Riley's offense is definitely tough at first, but once you get the hang of it, um, you feel like you pretty much can control any situation that's thrown at you in a game. And also uh, having all of the players involved definitely helps as well because you're not so dependent on one person, so therefore it works in your favor as a quarterback. Playing for Coach Banker has been awesome too. I mean, he, he runs a style of defense that I wasn't accustomed to, uh, kind of freestyle really. Um, you know, you've got responsibilities, but within a scheme that you can do different things, you have avenues, you have options that you can take within the scheme that aren't the same all the time, and that allows us to run around. And you know, it's almost like we've got 12 guys on the field rather than 11. Playing for Coach Riley, he, he treats me great. I mean, he treats everyone like they're an adult. He gives you the respect you deserve, and you know, thus you respect him back. He's a nice guy. It's, it's almost kind of weird because he's so nice, and you're just like, you think of an idea of a football coach to be kind of a jerk. But you know, he's the nicest guy I've ever met, and he's a true, real heartfelt speaker when it comes to you know, getting a point across to people and the team, and uh, uh, I love it. You know, it's a great place to play. Having Coach Riley as, as, uh, as your coach is definitely something that's, that's a positive influence on, on not just yourself as an athlete, but also the life after playing. Um, all the different things that he teaches you as a player uh, transfers over to being uh, a part of, of a life as a player and, and also everything that, that you live up to. So um, pretty much his building character is, is the main thing that, that uh, he encourages day in and day out. Beezer Stadium, you know, it's got one of the best crowds around. It's not the biggest stadium in the world, but you don't really understand what home field advantage is until you get to college. Um, when you get down there and there's thousands and thousands of screaming people all, all, all cheering for you, you know, it's, it's a different story you coming from high school, coming to play here. Playing in Reese Stadium is a feeling that you can't really experience anywhere else. Um, just coming out of the tunnel, seeing a lot of people screaming your name, pointing at you, and uh, it's just something that's, that, that's uh, one, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience.